Well, Aisha, in other news, some civil society organizations have criticized Parliament for reneging on holding government accountable to protect Ghana's water bodies. This follows a recent revelation by the Speaker of Parliament that some MPs are complicit in the Galamsey fight. Now, before we speak to co-chair of the Citizens' Movement Against Corruption, Adam Sarano, let's listen to comments made by the Speaker of Parliament and some MPs. Anybody, whether you are a religious person, you are a traditional person, you are a politician, you are a flag bearer or an MP who politicizes Galamse operations in this country. This house must take action on that person. We should invite any individual we have on video in this house who is promising the people of Ghana, especially the young people of Ghana, that if you vote for me, I would allow you to do Galamse. Our water bodies have been destroyed to the extent that we are threatened in a way that if care is not taken, we will not be able to have water. The speaker, this is as a result of Galamse. And he is the Minister for Defense. The President of State is President Nana Adodankwe Kufuado. So if the President has failed, he should admit so. And if he has failed as a Minister for Defense in tackling Galamse, he should admit so. It is wrong for him to cast, in, uh, I mean, uh, uh, insinuations and aspersions and creating impressions that somebody is making political statement. The executive power of state is with the president. And you are the minister for defense. If you can tell us that you cannot deploy the military to stop Galamse, but you can deploy the military to stop the exportation of maize, and so we should come for you. Mr. Speaker, the issues we are talking about, they are serious issues. Our livelihood is threatened. If we are to look and investigate both sides of the house, you have had the opportunity to rule this country before. I can tell you, you polluted the water more than us. You polluted the water more than us. The, the MPP administration and the NDC administration, I will be happy to debate you who has polluted our water bodies and our environment more than the other. Honorable Minister for Defense, when you said I was not hearing from you because the country is safe, now I've heard from you and what I heard showed that the country is not safe. If I have to implement the request you are making, I'm not sure you will survive. All of you will survive. So please let's move away from that one because it's very difficult to determine what a political statement is when you are talking about Galamse and what a political statement is not when you are talking about Galamse. And as to videos about Galamse, hmm, the later we talk about it, the better. We can now speak to co-chair of the Citizens' Movement Against Corruption, Adam Senanu. Adam, thank you so much for your time. The Speaker of Parliament was clear that some MPs are in fact involved in Galamse. Is it not about time he names and shames those he, he thinks are involved in this? Well, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, this, this country seems to be struggling from a lack of, of leadership. We have a leadership deficit where it matters most. I mean, a lot of those comments were outrageous and irresponsible uh, to the extent that one is wondering whether uh, some of them ought not to be apologizing to us. Even the last eight years, this government was not able to investigate and name the NDC people they claim polluted the water more than they did. What business do they have at this time claiming that uh, this one group made it worse than they did? especially when we have a president who put his presidency on the line to say that I'm going to deal with this. Somebody ought to come and talk to the people. It's absolutely irresponsible for them to be talking this way. Parliament ought to, not just the Minister of Defense, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. We need to understand what is going on. You know, this is a crisis of the kind of magnitude that can shake everyone. As I've said elsewhere, this is a horror movie. And we seem to be just, uh, you know, tiptoeing around the issue without confronting it uh, and dealing with the substantive issues. It's not absolutely not acceptable that either group should be telling us one party did it worse and, and let's debate it. This is not a debate. It's not a debate. When Professor Frimpon Boatin put his report out, apparently took it himself, gave it to the chief of staff, but the president, they isolated him, virtually targeted him, tried to, you know, the emeritus professor looked like somebody who had been harassed. And here we are. We apparently have this probably four years or so 
within which very soon we'll have a, a bigger crisis than we have now. Very, very irresponsible of, of, for all of them. Uh, they what what, what can we possibly issue. do about this, uh, Mr. Senanu? Have we two already lost the fight? I mean, at any point when you say you've lost the fight, then really you ought to agree is you are accepting doom. And that's not the way to go. It's time for citizen action, as far as I'm concerned. Article 41K makes it the responsibility of every citizen to protect and safeguard the environment. I think part of the problem is that we have also checked our responsibilities. We've not been responsible citizens enough to have stopped this when it was a, a smaller issue. And now it's become much bigger. At this point, just waiting for ministers to respond probably will not be enough. We need citizens out there. Like this week, I think earlier in the week, we had a media person arresting some of these Chinese guys. That is the kind of action. And we need to mobilize ourselves to make sure that the government knows that we are serious. And parliament needs to do much more than what it is talking about at the moment. Essentially, what you're saying is that we're not holding our MPs to the very highest standards. No, we are not. We absolutely are not. We are not even holding the government. You can't have a president who says, my presidency is on the line on this matter. I mean, how is it possible that we have military and the military couldn't deal with this? It tells you that somebody must be complicit. There must be conflicted leadership. Otherwise, this should have been dealt with long ago. So it's time for us as citizens to deal with this matter. You know, as much as often as we can talk about it, hold hands, identify name and shape, this is the time to do that. Thank you very much, uh, Ed Senanu is with the Citizens Movement Against Corruption. We are